Hello, zombies! <laughs> uh, hi, guys. If you recognize this greeting, um, hello. I I really love Glam and Gore. I just I keep watching her videos all over again, and yeah, hello. <laughs> okay, but hi, guys. Long time no see from this shot. And today uh, I would like to review your pictures uh, you sent me. I was not sure if I'm competent enough to do a video like this, like a photo review, uh, but I realized, I realized that I'm taking pictures since I was 16. So it, it makes it half of my life. It's almost half of my life, so that's a long time, that's a long time. And I started with a lot of various uh, techniques. Uh, I loved pinhole, I loved experimenting with pinhole photography. I, I took a picture with a matchbox. Yes, it's possible. I just did it. I I wanted to show you some pinhole photos of mine, but I have no idea where they are. They are probably somewhere on my SSD, but I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. But I think I've tried everything ex except large format because it's not easy these days. I've tried really a lot and I've done various projects, some private ones, uh, I've done two magazines, so I think I can do it, Yeah, I can do it for fun. Uh, that's why I decided to ask you guys to send me some of your pictures you are the most proud of. And uh, yeah, I have them here on my iPad and some of the nicknames of these people are Polish, so I will try to use names and all usernames you have under the pictures because I will move myself a little bit in here and you will see the pictures pictures here and down below under the picture you will have a username also or Instagram links you have down below in the description box go there give uh, these people a follow because it's so so worth it I I'm very very happy I received pictures from uh, people I'm really rooting for uh, so I'm, I'm so happy to do it uh, today Okay, let's change the shot and let's start. These are like three minutes, me just talking around, but never mind, let's start. All right, so first we have my friend Kuba. You may recognize him from some vlogs and from all these unboxing videos uh, of the packages he sends me. So he's the first one and we will... Uh, I have one, two, three, four, I have five pictures from him. Um, I picked my favorite from all of you because some of you sent me more than one picture and I'm very, very happy. I decided to pick up uh, the ones I like the most. I just had to shorten it to the maximum because I'm not sure if you want to watch a 30 minute video. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, let's start. First one, um, first one is in, a, I don't know, in a park, uh, on a festival, in a, uh, in a carousel. Yeah, this is a carousel and what I like about this picture is that there is not that much dead black, dead black pixels because uh, when you have in your photo just straight dead, um, dead black uh, parts, it means that the pixel, pixels are almost dead there. So this is not the thing um, professional photographers really like. Um, they try to avoid dead black pixels and dead white pictures if they are overexposed. Uh, so yeah, uh, it doesn't bother me that much, especially that the sky is um, navy blue, like very very dark, but I can see that it's not a dark, dark black, so I really like it. I I like the, the shot, the composition. I really like that the lights 
on the carousel and in the background are not overexposed. This one is one of my favorites of his and yeah, this is everything I have to say. I really like how the lights just um, gives a little bit of details to the people that are around the carousel. I, I really like that. Uh, next one, <laughs> this photo was taken when Kuba was visiting me here in Gdańsk and this is our city hall uh, in during the evening, a city hall during the evening. I really like the amount of light, uh, also there's, uh, there's some details in the building so I really really appreciate that and even on the first plan there's not, not that much dead black so all the details there are some windows uh, in the shade so I really like this one uh, the thing I would like to do I would like to uh, put some some little bit a little bit more light to the town hall uh, but it's only me and yeah Next picture. Next picture um, is out of focus, so we know it. And uh, as I asked Kuba, it's uh, on purpose, and I really, really like it. The shot is composed very well, but you can see there is part of the roof. I think it's a part of the roof. I would retouch that. I would retouch that to have a. Uh, uh, plain gray, whitish, grayish background like uh, the sky is um, the color of the sky. I really love bouquet uh, lights, so in love. But uh, I know what the idea of the picture was, but I would put the girl in focus. Uh, I would put the girl in focus, but after all, this is a very, very nice picture, but dead black, dead black bothers me. So the part, the, the down part of the, uh, the bottom of the picture is dead black. So I would try to shoot it in a row. I'm not sure if it, I think it was a DSLR. Uh, I'm almost sure it's a DSLR because, because that I'm sure. <laughs> uh, I would try to, you know guys, you always can make a picture darker, but it's not always that you can make a picture lighter and some recover some of the shadows. So I would um, shot it a little bit brighter and then darken it as much as I want, but you will always have the shadows you can work with. And this is the most important. So it's better to uh, overexpose a little bit than uh, underexposed because you can do nothing with a dead black. Mm. Okay. And this one, this one is so good. This is, uh, this is a cat. This is a Sphinx cat and I love this cat to pieces. Uh, I really appreciate the lightning on the picture because uh, in the picture, I'm sorry, I really, uh, really like the lightning that uh, um, the forest outside is not overexposed. It's a little bit bright, but I like how bright it is. And the shadows on the cat and the cup, I really like it. I. Um, probably I would crop the right part with the window because it it's not even like on the on the left you have a dark frame and on the right you have a light frame probably I would crop it a little bit but I understand why Kuba did not crop it because he could crop part of the cat and we don't want that but this is this is only me uh, so here are Kuba's pictures you saw them and uh, now we have pictures of Sue uh, I mean one picture but this is a good one guys this is a good one uh, you can see it uh, right now I think this picture is perfectly like on point it's on point um, 
we have a similar situation that the left part of the picture is dark and the right part of the picture is white but in this case the white part uh, has an even color it's not um, in various shades of white uh, it's plain it's uh, equal and that looks better a little bit than uh, on Kuba's picture uh, but the man the man I just love this picture when he uh, when he uh, sent it to me I loved it straight away like this is a great picture I really like it uh, I wouldn't change a thing shadows are pretty well preserved I wouldn't change a thing so great job uh, okay now we have Judith um, she's a little she's fresh to photography uh, not so not long ago she she purchased her first camera uh, first one the colors like the colors guys but I would crop it a little bit on the left to make the um, stairs perfectly in the middle. That's the only thing I would change. Change. Um, it would be fine. It would be fine if the stairs was like more on the right. Uh, but it's it's not even. It's the it's the perfect point to do a middle pic middle settled picture. And I would just crop it a little bit from left, from the left side to make it straight in the middle. That's that's the only thing I have. I love the colors. I love that the part. Um, this looks like a real tunnel. It's 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 really really good. This one, this one is one of my favorites. Like, I just want you to look at this and the color of the building. The color of the building is so beautiful, I would paint my walls. I would paint my walls like this. I'm sure it was white, but uh, in the finished picture, like in the picture I received, it's a little bit pinkish and I love it. I love it. I love the composition. It's not perfectly in the middle. The uh, top part of the building is not perfectly in the middle, but um, it's a little bit higher than the middle. Uh, I love how it looks and this is everything I want to say. I will have one more and this is this church and the amount of shadows uh, and the, the way light works and lays on the rooftop. Mwah. I love it. I love it. Uh, in this case, I really, really appreciate how uh, the, the church is settled. It's not a whole church, but it still looks very good. And the things, uh, the thing that it's not that easy to do is not to overexpose the sky because the sky is not overexposed. So I really appreciate that. Hi, hi, it's future me. It's future me. Guys, I lost a piece of footage about one person and I need to record it again. Uh, I'm so glad it's only one person, not all of them. Uh, but I just had a mini heart attack. So this is this is editing me and I will just uh, review photos of uh, Mona. Uh, Mona is my friend who, as you may remember, she uh, does stickers. I often use her stickers in my journal, so she sent me her pictures as well. And um, first one, first one is a cosplay picture and the colors and the composition is very, very good. Uh, the girl looks like she's almost like she's lying in the water. So there is a nice illusion of that. Uh, I really like the background is matching the hair. And uh, a little fun twist is that the photo is upside down. Uh, I'm a really huge fan of it. Cosplay pictures is art cosplay pictures is art um, because it's not easy it's not easy to make something um, 
to look like it's made digitally in uh, in game or in the movie in animation it's very very hard and I really like her review at this character this is a character from Sailor Moon of course and another picture another picture I love the colors of it but there is only one thing uh, I would do differently I would put the focus on the B I know it's not easy I've tried it so many times and it took me dozens of shots uh, until I could catch uh, the B properly I know it's not easy but besides that this picture is super cool macro picture mm. But this tiny thing, the tiny focus thing bothers me. But I love the colors of, uh, it's probably a flower bouquet or a flower, I don't know, garden. Uh, I love that it's uh, muted down a little bit If in the case of colors. Um, yeah, I really like it, but the focus. Okay. <laughs> I'm coming back to my past me uh, with better lightning and better shot. Hi, it's future me again. It turned out that it cut out two people. So I have Natalia. She's uh, another our uh, contender. Uh, <laughs> participant to be honest in my photo review and she sent me uh, this very beautiful uh, autumnal portrait and uh, first thing that comes to my mind when I, uh, I have it on my computer the picture that's why I look at it the first thing that comes to my mind is uh, that the half of the face is in shadow and half in light I really like this I really really genuinely hope it's on purpose um, also uh, the background is uh, half in focus and half out of focus so yeah this is this is very interesting there are not many pictures like this that divide the background um, if the person is in the first plan the second plan usually is the same kind of a plan but uh, here we have something in focus something out of focus this is very interesting I like how it's muted uh, toned down and uh, desaturated a little bit uh, but if I was uh, if I were a model uh, I would open uh, the eyes a little bit more because you have no idea autumnal portraits with uh, girls with huge eyes this is beautiful i love doing this uh, i used to uh shoot my sister i used to shoot my sister i used to shoot my sister uh during autumn a few years ago and i may i uh, did her, her makeup uh i opened the eye as wide as i could that it has the Mm, it takes the biggest space in the face just it's more dramatic um, if you know what I mean uh, I, I like this I really like the editing and yeah okay this is this is everything uh, thank you so much for this picture and back to the studio uh, we have another uh, another person um, the nickname is Mari uh, sounds like Marie uh, so you know uh, we have a dog we have a dog I really I really like this uh, tiny flare in the background but we should have the dog in focus I like how the uh, dandelions are in the background I really like that but I would still put dog in the focus. I know it was hard because the dog was moving but um, the shadow work is really good. I would make a dog's face a little bit brighter and put him in focus and it would be a perfect shot. Now we have Camila. Camila is another one of my friends. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of friends online, okay? Stop judging. Uh, so we have few landscapes three landscapes so this the first one it's a perfect postcard 
It's a perfect postcard. I really like uh, I really like how it's uh, positioned. The only thing I would do, I would take a little bit saturation a little bit down because uh, the rooftops uh, are a little bit in your face. But this is a really, really pretty postcard. So now the city in the evening. You probably already see what I want to tell you. I would crop it a little bit to be perfectly in the middle. But I like the um, exposure. I like the exposure. Um, the lights are not overexposed. The sky is not underexposed. And we have no dead black uh, at the bottom of the picture. So this is a huge plus. I need to tell you the story. Uh, he is one of my first viewers from my first ever channel. I, you know me, you know I used to have a gaming channel. Uh, oh my god, like a lifetime ago. And he was one of my first viewers. And we found each other again by accident now, after all these years. And I'm really, really impressed with all the pictures he takes because he's a Nintendo fan and he's a gaming fan, and he's very consequent uh, in the pictures he takes. I love how conceptual the pictures are, and here you have some Nintendo consoles, like Switch in the first, uh, in the first plan, and two other ones in the background. I love that the Switch is grey and the rest is white, and that the background is white. It gives a great pop of color and um, go have a look um, because I know he puts a lot of energy in his shots uh, sometimes I just watch the stories um, his stories and I see how he plans every picture and I really 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 admire that uh, so I love the concept I love that every console takes a part uh, of the picture for itself that you can see all of them like gradient this console gradient i really like it so um there is no no light words for you but i really really appreciate the shot and i really enjoy it and the last two pictures are from veronica and these are film film photographs I really like them. These are double exposures and if you know me, you know I used to be obsessed uh, over double exposures. I still really am, but I uh, I just don't um, enjoy using such cameras anymore that much, uh, but I don't like um, doing uh, double exposures like digitally. Um, because it's it's not the same if you shot double shots, double exposure, separate pictures on the same frame uh, on the, in a film camera, that's the spirit. So we have two, uh, two double exposures and these stole my heart. I really, really like these. I'm talking about two of them. Um, because uh, we have only two, uh, but I love the colors, I love the composition, I love how um, both of the uh, shots are like transitions. I love the transition between two frames, in the, I mean two shots in the, on the same frame. I, I really, really like it. These kind of pictures are my favorite kind of pictures. And I realized when I'm uh, looking at the pictures right now that my Google disk did not synchronize uh, one picture, one Kuba's picture. And this is annoying because we had another one of his. And this is um, also a double exposure from Smyrna. Uh, I think it's Smyrna 8, but I'm not really sure. I can't remember. I think it's 8. Uh, and we have uh, uh, this. <laughs> now you can see it. You have this uh, picture, uh, this double exposure. I really like how it's framed. 
I really like the colors and this is the best one. This is the best, definitely the best one uh, he sent me. Um, yeah, it's not overexposed, it's not un not exposed, it's underexposed and uh, I really like it. I like it. I always choose film photos. I don't know why. I this is this is just my thing. This is just my thing. Uh, all right, guys. So thank you so so much for sending me all the pictures. I had so much fun picking up the ones I would like to talk about. Um, if you have any any questions or if you like to do more uh, for me to do some more of such videos, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm not roasting anyone, as you can see. I'm not roasting because I. I appreciate the effort and I appreciate the concept and if there's anything technical I can help with I always do that so don't be shy don't be shy I don't roast people <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching this is a long video but I hope you are here and you are uh, on the end with me still. Uh, if you like the video, give it some love and see you in the next video. Bye!